Hello everyone. My name is Dai Chi, and I will give you a lecture, regarding the radiation and remediation activities. So, let's start today's lecture. Today's theme is, Impact on Human Health Caused by Exposure to Radiation, Volume 1. Are you ready? Hello, Hickory. What are you doing by throwing a dice? Hello, Mr. Daichi. We currently learn the probability in our class. Therefore, I am now trying to verify the probability, by comparing the result of calculation with action spots of dice, by throwing it a number of times. That is a point. It is definitely important to actually verify results of calculation of probability. By the way, the word probability has just reminded me of the impact on human health caused by exposure to radiation. What about going into more detail for this topic for today? Wow, that's a very good idea. Yes, please go ahead, Mr. Daichi. There are a couple of approaches for classification of impact on human health, caused by exposure to radiation. Specifically, for example, impact on the person himself or herself, exposed to radiation, or its offspring, is one of the representative examples. Incubation period, until the impact actually comes up on the body, or mechanism which causes the impact, are also taken here as other examples, depending on the difference of viewpoint. Among them, the last example, mechanism to cause impact on human health, is especially focused on, as a basis of this lecture. In terms of the difference of mechanism to cause negative effects on human health, the effects can be roughly classified into two categories. Specifically, one category is called the deterministic effects, and the other is called the stochastic effects. Details of the difference of mechanisms will be elaborated in the following part of this lecture onward, but first of all, the deterministic effects can appear, when people are exposed to comparatively a large amount of radiation, in a short period of time. As an example of the deterministic effects on people themselves, acute disorders can be cited here. Specifically, disorders on bone marrow, gastrointestinal tract, or central nervous system could appear, which are called acute radiation syndromes. It depends on the part of body to be exposed to radiation, but it could also be possible, that effects like skin erythema, hair loss, or sterility come up on the exposed people. As the deterministic effects on those other than exposed people, fetal disorders could appear, such as embryo-fetal disorders, or mental retardation. In addition, after some time passes, late-onset disorders could appear, such as cataract, or glaucoma. On the other hand, as the stochastic effects, it is possible, for the probability of leukemia or cancer to increase. And at last, as a negative effect on next generation, the probability for hereditary effect could also increase. So, for the next, let me elaborate the mechanisms, how the deterministic effects, and the stochastic effects could appear, one by one. First of all, let us start with the deterministic effect. Every single cell has genetic information as DNA in its own, and part of the DNA could be damaged, by exposure to radiation. This damage, however, could be repaired with a curative system, which human body inherently has. However, not all of the damages would be completely repaired into original condition. Part of the DNA could be repaired mistakenly, or sometimes become even dead. However, as long as the dose is low, and the number of damaged cells is small, no severe impact could appear, on the vital function of people exposed to radiation. For the next, if dose exposed to people becomes larger, the number of cell made impacted increases. Part of the cells could be still repaired, but the number of cells, which are not completely repaired into original condition, or become dead, also increases. Even so, if a certain amount of cells are kept intact, even temporary dysfunction occurs, vital functions are recovered again afterwards, after some time passes. If, 
however, dose to people with further increases, and it exceeds a certain level of dose, through death, or degeneration of a large number of cells, function of tissues or organs could be completely lost, or sometimes morphological defects would appear, and it could possibly cause severe impact on human health. The negative effects, which appear through this mechanism, are called the deterministic effects, and the dose, which could be a rough indication, to assume, whether the deterministic effects would appear or not, is called the threshold value, or threshold dose. In other words, it can be said, that even if people are exposed to dose less than the threshold dose, the deterministic effects would not appear. If this phenomena is briefly represented with a graph, it is going to be like this. Even if people are exposed to radiation, with less than the threshold dose, no deterministic effects would appear, but if people are exposed to dose more than the threshold dose, incidence of the deterministic effects would gradually increase. Specifically, the ICRP defines that the threshold dose is the dose, to which a group with a lot of people are exposed to the same dose, and the deterministic effects would appear on, 1% of the exposed people. I see. I have understood the basic concept of the deterministic effects, and the stochastic effects, as well as the meaning of the threshold dose, which is relevant to the deterministic effects. By the way, how much are the specific values of the threshold dose? Good question. Well, as previously mentioned, the sensitivities to radiation are different, between tissues or organs. This point, as well as the other effects, that is, the stochastic effects will be a little bit more elaborated in the following lectures. So, let me wrap up my lecture by providing you the key points. Today regarding the impact on human health caused by exposure to radiation, first, I talked that there are a couple of approaches for classification. For example, when focusing on the people who are exposed to radiation, the person himself or herself, or its offspring, is one of the representative classification. Incubation period until the impact actually comes up on the body, and mechanism which causes the impact, were also taken as examples. Of these three classifications, when focusing on the mechanism which causes the negative impact, there are further two kinds of classification, that is, the deterministic effects, and the stochastic effects. Regarding the deterministic effects, they could actually appear on the human body, when people are exposed to relatively large amount of radiation, in a short period of time. They are caused by death or degeneration of people's cells, and as specific examples of symptoms, acute radiation syndromes, embryo-fetal disorders and cataract were taken in this lecture. In addition, deterministic effects have characteristics, that if people are exposed to radiation more than threshold dose, possibility for the effects to appear would be higher. In other words, it means, that if people are exposed to radiation less than threshold dose, the effects would not appear. Okay, today's lecture is now dismissed. See you next time. In this channel, useful information, regarding the radiation and remediation, will be provided to you. If you like it, please subscribe to this channel, and do not forget to click the like button.